this is what they call a um, this is a flower. Although you call it, it looks like a big flower. So, whoops, dang it. Something like this, I would normally start off with just one collector, one condenser, make a diamond farm out of it. It'd be slow, but it'll get there eventually with the diamonds. There we go. Then I would, from there, I would build it up a little more. And upgrade each item one bit by bit by bit slowly until I get the whole thing working. But, because that up there is supplying all the energy to it, you see how it's building up EMC rather fast. It should produce a red piece of, piece of red matter every, let's say, eight minutes, roughly. Um, that's what it used to do in version 1.1. I, I timed it. It was like eight and a half minutes, so roughly around there, per red matter, which was kind of nice. So you see the progress park, bar is kind of visibly building up here. So we'll let this thing go and continue to build up um, EMC on its own right there. So we'll let that go for now. Uh, let's see. Does it get noisy again? Little shits. Thank you. Ow. I gotta work up my, get my armor done too, but that's be another, you know, episode, I think. Right now, though, I need to start getting these upgraded over here as well. I want to make a. Uh, make Advanced Extractor, Advanced Macerator, and Advanced Compressor, and an a Induction Furnace, all four. So, um, first thing first, we're going to have to, um, okay, hmm, need to do it three here. Um, so, let's see, what do we need here? Besides a less noisy neighbor. Good lord, man. What are you doing out there? Shit. Okay. The advanced machine blocks and refined iron. So, for all of them, right? Yeah, advanced. Because I need advanced machine blocks for all of them, so I need some. Com um, yeah, I'm going to need to grind up some more. make more plates, don't I? We have some plates in stock already. Let's see. Um, got six in see, six in stock. I make three of them. Can't make the fourth one. But I can make three. So let's do this wisely then. Uh, let's see. Advanced alloys. Um, kick this in this inventory here out of my hair for a minute. So let's make the extra roof. Um, oops. <clears throat> I'm going to have to make more uh, carbon plates. I might as well make the um, macerator. That's one of them. So that's going to take refined iron and. Um, right, I can do that rather quickly. Should also make the compressor as well. And that's going to take obsidian. And I should also do the induction furnace, which will take copper, if I remember correctly. Um, oh, I'm going to need myself a wrench, too, aren't I? Okay. Should I have that thing in stock somewhere? I uh, got the hat wrench there, but do I have an electric wrench? Tell you how good I am. I forget what I make from episode to episode, but it's pretty bad. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's sort this out here. Let's see, we got the screwdriver, we got a regular wrench. Uh, yes, I didn't make an electric wrench yet. Alright, well, we can do that right now then. <laughs> let's see, you need some bronze. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna need a circuit and a battery. So, I got uh, batteries over here. Watch, I'm going to find, well, find it after the episode's over. I'm going to be like, pissed off myself. So, a battery, and I need a circuit. So. Got some spare circuits over here. I think, yes, I do. So, it'd be one circuit, one battery, and, whoops, so, first off. It would help if I went ahead and made a wrench. 
we need the bronze for. You need a wrench that hasn't been used yet, so nothing uh, unrepaired. Um, circuit and a battery. Electric wrench. Now, with electric wrenches, they do have what they call um, lossless mode, so it uses a shitload of energy, but you guarantee to get back your machines. Hence why you want to use it, despite the energy usage. So, um, hmm. <clears throat> so we take a shift, press M, and click. Oops. Which wrench and attach? There we go. Lossless mode enabled. But it's going to take a lot of energy, though. One second here. It was a bit better there. I'll just close the window, block some noise out from an idiot, my neighbor. So let's now do this here real quick. Um, so yeah, you click on your, oops, right click on it. You'll pick up the item, but you see how much energy, energy it used. It used a lot of energy, you know. Um, you have a lap pack or a bat pack. That's the energy backpack or energy lapatron version of it. It will, you know, take my energy, energy from that instead. You can do a lot more with it between recharges, but unfortunately I do not have one of those yet, so we'll just deal with what I've got here. But I've got this nice source of power over here. Well, it would be a bit, a bit even better source of power by the time I get done in this for um, recording session. Alright, got everything picked up. I'm also going to need a better source of wiring, but I'll show you that too. So, pick this guy up here, and there we go. We're not going to do that anymore either. If you're using the Atomic Striker version of Advanced Machines, which if you haven't changed your uh, mod yet in the mod pack that you're using, you will need the bat pa the um, transformer there though. It will explode, I think, above 32 EU per tick. I went ahead and changed my mod over so it would be the more um, the proper advanced machines, I call it the advanced machines original. So I'm not going to worry about to that too much. So first thing I'm going to do is the macerator. Well, first thing I need to do is get some refined iron, which I should have in stock. If not, I got a. You know, yeah, the oven over there, I can use that to cook up. But I do have some refined iron right here, so... Yay for that. <clears throat> one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three... Like so. Three machine blocks. One, two, three, one, two, three... Three advanced machine blocks, like so. First will be the uh, macerator. Gonna need to macerate things. And that was with refined iron, if you remember correctly. Like so. One rotor rotary macerator. <sighs> Let's see. The compressor is obsidian. Singularity compressor and extractor, or the oven. I'm gonna do the oven first. So electric furnace, mass machines, and copper makes induction furnace. I'll do the extractor in a little bit here. That's gonna take the cells over there. I need to make up more um, you know, carbon plates before we can do that one. So. Right now, though, I'm going to have to make some more better cabling. The cabling here, a uh, copper cable, will only handle 32 EU per tick. Anything above that, it'll melt, literally. So, so with that, I'm going to need to have some silver. I mean, you could use redstone if you really wanted to, and I'll show you that in a second here. Let's might as well do that. Um, uh, okay. <coughs> Well, really, okay. I had more than that. Oh, I do. Okay, right here. And we need more glass, though. 
and some diamonds. Okay. Almost got everything. <clears throat> So stack in, stack out, like so. Now, if you take glass, like so, uh, ooh, crud, one second. I almost forgot that, like a dingbat, but anyways. Silver, Klein Star, more silver, sweet. Dang it, come back here. Thank you. Right, okay. Silver on the sides, diamond in the middle, glass, like that. You will get six glass fiber cable, can hand up to 100, 512 EU per tick before it melts. Um, anything above that, you gotta use high voltage cable, which is really expensive to make. So if you're not a little shy on silver and don't have the resources for it, you could use redstone. You only get four cables instead of six per craft creation. Um, so let's make a few of these. Um, like so. Oop. One, two, three, four. Throw about the overclicks there, they'll correct themselves in a minute here. So, let's make a bunch of glass fiber, um, extra diamond, extra glass. Okay, that should be enough for now. Uh, okay. So, as I said, if you're using the um, Atomic Striker or the default version of, of Advanced Machines right now, Keep your uh, bat box in place. Best bet, because the thing those will, those machines will explode on uh, anything above 38 U per tick. If you're using the original version, like I'm using right now, I, I converted over to mine to that. It'll actually work. So on 120 U per tick and run a hell of a lot better. Uh, maybe I'll have to show you a video sometime of that. Um, the differences between the two systems. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna compress there. And the induction furnace. The induction furnace is the built-in default for um, that's what kind of inspired the business was the fact that the IC team made the induction furnace, but they never wanted to do anything more for the other machines. So he said, "Screw that! I'll do it myself," and that's what he did. Wait a minute! I wanted to do something, didn't I? Right. I wanted to have. I got space for it. Bother. Okay. Yeah, I got to deal with, the, with that too eventually too, getting better, more power generation. Also want to convert these over to the MV panels. Probably be a lot better. Hmm. Anyways, uh, for lag issues, that is. Regardless, though, um... <clears throat> okay, you want the compressor one over. And the induction furnace one over. Okay. Now, I want to, I'm going to be building a second extractor at some point. I'm going to put them side by side. I like need to do a, not another macerator, that is. Oh, I get that wrong. Why? Think that. Anyways. Ooh, lines are clear. Good. Um, that's done. That's done. Yeah, a little bit there. I can just go screw it. I'll, a little bit of waste, but not as much. So let's turn this bad boy off. Like so. Let that now cool down. I'll dismantle that in a little bit. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, yes, right. Oh, for things. I'm not going to bother. 
getting frustrated here. Let me flustered here. Give me a second. Okay. Need some red red alloy wiring and a switch. I should have one of those in stock, I thought. Yes, I do. Right there. Now, with these machines, if you put apply a redstone signal to them, like I'm about ready to do here, oops, they will switch on, and see the little progress here? This RPM, um, it will actually ma maintain the RPM, the pressure, the heat level, and it'll be ready for instant use. It does use one EU per tick, Per machine, so I'm right now using um, we're using three right now. I'm using five eventually. EU per tick, constantly all the time. But this is be able to handle it and that be able to maintain it at night. No big deal. And when I get done with the um, power generation built over there, it's going to be able, I'm going to draw a cable over here to um, handle that.